Welcome back to the channel guys, Darth Sloan here. And just the other day, I just had this thought, like someone said something in chat and it gave me the idea to do this. And I did it last night, I wasn't streaming. I just did it to see what would happen, just experimenting around. And we're gonna use this as an example just want to show you a picture is worth a thousand words they say so you see that there is only one buck or one stag in this zone so the other day I decided what if you could apply the method of moving stags around into your zones that are mostly female your consistent zones are your herd zones where there's multiple deer. Your inconsistent zones are the zones that have one stag using it because when you go back, at least on my map, when I go back to check on my single stag zones, sometimes they're there, sometimes they're not, sometimes they're on the opposite side of the lake if there's multiple drink zones on that lake, but they're very inconsistent and time consuming. So as we see here, actually there's a a little guy there and a four so there's two there are two red deer and it's very important the order that you do this in as well so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go find a zone that has one stag in it and I'm gonna move that stag into this herd and it's completely legal it's not a glitch it's completely fine to do it and it doesn't work every time but I'm not going to shoot any other animal I just reset the time I'm not going to shoot any other animal all I'm going to do is I'm going to go find a single stag using a zone and I'm going to shoot the stag first that's important shoot the stag first then I'm going to come back here and shoot one of these females then I'm going to exit out of the game and then that's only two animals that I've killed. There's a 50-50 chance, which what I've seen the last two times in a row is it worked both times. Um, I essentially moved the doe to the single stag zone and moved the stag to the zone I wanted it to be in. And the reason that you want to do that is like, for example, I hate hunting this area right here. So I may go over here and just shoot one. Well, I don't even care if I get a gold medal, just blast it. I'm gonna spook it. That's the reason I hate hunting this zone. I'm gonna spook the animals because you just can't get a sight on them on this side. Um, you can't see them good. So what I'm gonna do is if I can kill a buck or a stag out of this zone, then I'll come over here and kill a, a female. You don't want to kill the female first because what happens if you end up not finding a single stag to shoot in a zone? So the females are easy to find. They're everywhere. They're in some of these all female zones. So I always shoot the buck first and then I just go to a, a herd that has mostly female in it and I move my stag into that zone. And I'm just going to show you how to do that. First we will go find us a single zone stag. I get them around here. I get them around here. Um, I would rather move them from a place I absolutely hate. Like I don't mind hunting this lake too bad and it doesn't take too long to hunt for this. Uh, but some of these places, like there's some spots here on the river where I know I've got some sixes. That would be a good spot to just remove one there and move a doe there so I never have to worry about the river. And I can... Essentially all the spots that are horrible to hunt with bad sight lines and just time consuming you can go and kill those stags and then come to a, a, a herd of uh, doe and move the stags into that herd and it's and then once you've got all your zones set up like that as long as you don't shoot any more females that's the reason we're in this problem to begin with occasionally I'll shoot a, a, a running shot at a stag that will end up accidentally hitting a female and killing a female when that happens you start swapping spots uh, that's that's why you end up with all does on sometimes because whether you know it or not or whether you realize it or not you've accidentally shot some does along the line 
But I just wanted to show you what I did yesterday. Those two, I moved into this zone. And I'll tell you where they come from. I know exactly where they come from. They come from right here. I shot one of them there and actually one of them over here, but the pressure's gone now. But um, that's what I did. I shot both of those. That one max weight seven was a max weight seven here, I would assume is his spawn. And he's a little bigger than what he was when I shot him. And this one here was a seven, but it was a 180 to 210 seven. And now he's a six, his respawn is a six. Um, but I did, that was two different resets. I shot this one max weight here and we're looking at him. He spawned in there a little bigger, a little bigger of a max weight seven. I, I quit the game out and he spawned in right there. And then I did it again. I come down here and shot a seven right here. I came back here and shot another doe because this was all does. So I just put two stags in here by doing this. So we're going to go through it again and I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do it. All right, guys, this I've, I've attempted this a few times. It is a 50 50 shot. So the last couple times I've tried it, it didn't work. It just put uh, females back in where they were and the males back in where they were. But now this is a very aggravating spot. Hopefully they're here. See, they're invisible right now because I spawned in my tent. It's hard to put your tent on this lake anywhere. Um, I have found this to be, because a lot of times I will have red deer over there. And I'll shoot them, go pick them up, and then I'll look back over here and have red deer up beside my tent, which is convenient because then I can just fast travel back over and pick them up. Uh, but in this case, the animals haven't spawned back in yet over here. There's usually some Mouflon over here, and they're not here right now. So I'm wondering if I have all my animals in my zone, but it showed a drink zone there. It showed that they're there. So let's see. There are wolves in the area as well. So, and that's Quattro for you. You have to, you have to deal with wolves and stuff. But essentially we want to shoot one of these. There we go. That's a good sign. We want to shoot one of these. That's a perfect one to shoot. That's a level six. We want to switch his spawn. We want him to, we want to bring a doe in here and take him to one of our herds. Essentially, I'm setting it up to where all my stags are in herds and not in these little single zone areas. And then I will really be able to blast through and, and put a hurting on them. So there's the two that were drinking over there. Uh, may even be a third. That looks like maybe a third right there. Uh, I'm not sure what he is, but he shouldn't spook to the gunshot. Uh, we're going to move him right now. He's the one I'm concerned with the most. So we will put him down. Now this one over here, we don't know what it is, but he shouldn't have spooked from that gunshot because I think he was beyond 200 meters. Um, that one right there, we don't know what he is. Oh, he's a seven. I should have shot him. Well, we will leave him there. And so we've got us a spot here that I could actually take advantage of. I could move these to my herd spot. See, when you kill these off, I've done it several times. They don't come immediately back. These zones are horrible. These single stag zones, which there's three in this zone, um, but they're kind of spread out. But, uh, I'll kill them off and then they won't be back for a while. Or they'll spawn around the lake. And this is a big old lake and it's tough to navigate. So I would like to move the males from this lake into my herd zones. And it would just save me time. You know, set me a tripod up, kill two or three out of each herd and not be fast traveling all over the map. So it's just efficiency that I'm going for here. And there are places on the river where I have moved males, killed the males on the river that I don't like hunting and moved them into herd zones. 
So you all have zones that you hate, but you find males there. So what we're going to do, we're going to pick this guy up. And I'm wanting to move him here. I want him to move here. But the last two times I've tried it, it has just put the doe back in its spawn and the male back in its spawn. So we will see. We will see how this turns out. I know I've got another seven and a five there that I can move if, if it doesn't work this time. Um, and I have a tripod down so that I don't put too much pressure down. So we see them here. We see the one little four. That's the only stag in this close zone. Now out there, there is a, a level five that's in that zone. So this is a split herd. It's two different herds that are using the same zone, basically, is what this is. So what I want to do is right here, I want to put my tripod down and I just want to kill one of these does. It doesn't matter to me. If Bartholomew T. Justice would move out of the way. All right, I just want to shoot one of these. Do we have a broadside winner right there? We got a broadside winner right there. All right, so what we're hoping is I'll pick this one up. And we'll quit out of the game. And then hopefully we'll come back to this spot. And there will be a male spawn back in it. An additional male spawn. We want to move the level 6 we shot. Now it's not going to spawn. It may not spawn as a level 6. It could spawn as a level 7. It could spawn as a diamond. But the spawn that comes from that level six, we are hoping gets moved over to this zone. I've done it several times here, but we've had bad luck. You have a 50-50 chance. They could spawn right back where you killed them from, or they could swap spawns. They essentially go into a pool, and they have to wait for uh, an assigned slot. So there goes our little level four, 150 to, to 180, 91 to 137. You see a score there. Now we're going to pick this one up. We're not shooting anything else, guys. That is it. We are now going to quit out of the game. We want to load the game back up and go here and hopefully see an extra stag in this zone. And this worked perfectly last night, but I wasn't filming and it hit me this morning. And I'm like, well, that would make a good video. So fingers crossed it works this time it worked three or four straight times for me yesterday and then I said well it works every time <laughs> and now evidently it's a 50 50 shot and we've ended up on the wrong end of the 50 50 so let's see what what we get here now oh 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 we, we already know it worked we already know it worked this time so it took three tries but we got it um, we saw him because we know all right there he is we, we got a level six spawn we moved it i'm not going to shoot him just yet see that's that's convenience now i can just hop out of my hand and kill him uh my tent we have a five medium in that zone i could essentially even move well, i could if i want just fill my herds up i've got herds here and here i could just now I've got some here I'd like to move out and I will work on that. I'll keep working on this, but I'm going to move some of these out because that's a horrible spot to hunt too.